Welcome to Make It Happen Monday. Today we're talking milk, in case you can't tell. And specifically, I'm going to hopefully clear up some confusion related to milk alternatives. It's a common question I get, give Dr. Rand, what about all these milk alternatives? Should I be doing almond milk or rice milk or coconut milk or whatever? So I'm just going to give it to you uh, really straightforward, very simple. The two healthiest milks for you to be consuming um, based on overall nutritional profile and frankly data are going to be cow's milk and you know low fat or skim is best or plain unsweetened soy milk the reason these are superior these two milks plain unsweetened soy milk or cow's milk to the uh, sort of the, the more classically um, seen milk alternatives which would be almond milk coconut milk or rice milk but they have others even like hemp milk and things like that is that um, the nutritional profile here mm, is just not as esteemed, particularly in regards to protein. You get eight grams of protein, and you need protein every time you eat. It's important uh, for all sorts of things. You gotta have it, plus it's great for appetite control. So you get eight grams in both of these per serving, and either zero grams or just one gram in these other uh, milks. And these milks are you know, a little bit more processed food-like, right? You're paying a premium for mostly water. So when do these milk alternatives have a place? I think the place they have is if someone, for some reason, cannot do soy-based milk or cow's milk, maybe they're allergic, maybe they're intolerant, or just frankly, maybe they hate them. That's a possibility too. Then these other milks, it's great that you have them as an alternative, but in terms of health, these are going to be your best choices. So I hope that clears up um, some confusion and gives you a little bit more clarity and enjoy your milk. Thank you.